Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and you know what I've been saying. Try something new in the last few weeks of Modern Warfare 3. Get away from your crutch, the static, the MCW, whatever you carry around every single time. Don't complain. Try something new. It's not stale, it's fresh. So I just found a gem, a hidden gem in my Try Something New content, and that is the OG Modern Warfare to TAC M. Now, I've been talking for a while here. You have the opportunity to see the configuration. I tried a bunch of them. This is what I came up with. I'm going to play one game of free for all and a few games of 6v6. Let's see how this does in the shooting range. Watch this. Boom, boom. Two shot kill. Now, to get the head, it's a one shot kill. And as far away as you can go, it's a two shot gag. All right, let's go back and take a look at the damage on this thing. 154 to the head, out 250 meters. Upper torso, 98. Lower torso, 70. Upper leg, 70. If you get it in the upper torso or above, it's a two-shot gack. If the enemy is damaged, it's probably a one-shot gack no matter where you hit them. And that single headshot is a one-shot kill. You can see there's basically no gun kick, no horizontal recoil. Yeah, 12.96 degrees per second. And the vertical recoil is significant, but it recenters very quickly. Let's look at the recoil real quick in the shooting range. First hip fire and you can see straight as an arrow. Next aim down sight straight as an arrow everything recenters. So let's take this hidden gold. If you haven't tried it, you need to do it. I'm telling you, you're going to have some fun with it. TACM OG Modern Warfare 2 onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa and see how it surprised Grandpa's sometimes shocked enemies. Let's go. The TACM isn't on the top of Grandpa's list when he's thinking about marksman rifles. To be honest, it wasn't even on the list. So I just started going through the weapons and looking at the damage and realized that I had not given the TAC-M enough love. If you're using the KD Enforcer, you need to pay attention here because this thing serves chips with the guacamole. One shot to the head. You just saw that. One shot kill to the head. Two shot kill to the upper torso. And it fires fairly quickly. So I decided to take it out into free-for-all. Marksman rifles generally don't do well in free-for-all because you need to engage multiple enemies very quickly. And they're all trying to gack you. There's nobody on your team. Everybody else is on the other team. So I was pretty impressed. I mean, I took this thing out onto Dome of all places, the classic SMG slash shoddy map. Oh, that guy just gave himself away. Whoa. Took me three shots, if I could hit him. One to the head, one shot, one kill. This thing's astounding. I don't know why nobody uses it. I don't think I've seen it in a lobby. That first shot was for show. Oh, we got a Muppet in the classic dome a Muppet spot. Where is he? We're going to go back and get him. Make sure nobody else is going to gack us. And see you later, Muppet. Zombie Muppet. Wonder if that would be good for a kid's show. Hey, kids. Here's a zombie. Going to try to eat your brains. But I, this weapon ADSs quickly and relatively for a marksman rifle, but the sprint to fire is outstanding on it. Hit fire isn't great, but it's there when you need it. Last ditch. Like I always say, the fighter pilot mantra, as long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. As has seen by my enemy who gacked me. He put some lead in the air. There he is. I'm going to see if I can get him back. I noticed one thing. Jump shots work really good with the Tachyum because they tend to give you that headshot. Somebody stepped on my proximity mine. 
And you can reach out and touch somebody. I mean, it's straight as an arrow, about 50 meters, and the hit scan is just below that. You have over 40 meters of hit scan capability. That means that when you pull the trigger, if he's inside around 40 meters, it's going to be like a point blank shot. There is no getting away from it for the enemy. So I said at the beginning I was going to play one free for all with it and one 6v6. Free for all is going well. Grandpa ain't going to lie to you about that. In fact, he wouldn't lie to you about just about anything. I mean, once you get to be a certain age, doesn't matter if people know the truth. Oh, somebody's trying to gack poor grandpa some elder abuse case I'm about to file. Yeah. Good luck with jumping out in front. I have never seen anybody muppeting up there before. Comment below if you have. That's a spot on dome. I didn't know that you could muppet from. See if he's still there. Oh, he's not. But he is. And it's a Snickers victory, Grandpa. The rhythm is escaping. It just won't stay inside. There we go. Oh, yes. All right. There's the final gack. Free for all. This weapon's viable. Especially if people with Dayglow bandanas. All right, next we're going to try 6v6. You know I love shipment because there are a lot of engagements. Should do okay here, except Grandpa likes to rush. As you can see that quick double kill, the thing packs a punch. I don't know why a lot of people don't use it. I don't know why they don't use it instead of like the Car 98 even, or the Enforcer, or any other marksman rifle. And there is your obligatory knifer bonking. Grandpa in the noggin. We can get some revenge on that. He's Elvis. He's the king. Got me again. Oh, that life didn't last long. Wasn't going well for me, so gave up early, I guess. And there's the bonker. There's the Arctic snow gear. And not very cold here in my going to say Montgomery here in Orange Beach, Alabama. Ooh, two deaths in a row. But that's the beauty of the thermite. It's the gift that keeps on giving, Clark. Grandpa's going to soak. Now, every once in a while, you get in the hard point matches where members of your team, members of the other team, act more like they're playing TDM. And in fact... I think the game they're playing is keep people off the hard point, but don't get on it yourself. And that's what this game devolved into. A bunch of uh, Muppets. There's the hazmat guy. A bunch of Muppets trying to play like him. Okay, so he plays ranked, right? He must be a camper. He must be a Muppet. The ranked Muppet. Don't shoot that bow and arrow, Grandpa. There's the hazmat guy. Gonna clean out the outhouse later today. Needs to wear a suit. There's a quad kill. Did you see how fast this weapon gacked people? There were four kills in the space of five seconds. A couple of them one-shot kills. I'll even shoot a Red Riding Hood. There's the Muppeting rank player. So funny. There. Welcome, Matt, for my friends. Hard point relocating. Stand by. You get on the hard point. It's probably not a good place to be on this one. Hard point relocated. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. Ooh. And the hazmat guy. Outhouse cleaner's gone. Looks like one of my teammates has a tactical cocktail dress. I was looking for somebody muppeting there. Instead, I'll just get him. The camping ranked guy. Is that ranked? That may not be a ranked. Skin, comment below. Let's 
do that jump shot, get you the head head gag, and there's a muppet. That's the guy we're shooting for, trying to wall bang. We got a soak. I mean, this is embarrassing. Two minutes left. We're not even halfway through the game. Score wise. So, like I said, the tack M works well out to. 50, 60 meters. I mean, it is just a god. Oh, we got the outhouse cleaner, average terrorist for a quick triple kill. And there's somebody with a spear. Oh, I think that was the camping ranked guy. There's the spear man. And Grandpa buys the farm. Let me know. Let me know if you try this out, because I think it is an absolutely awesome configuration. It's an awesome weapon. It was deleting people. I mean, just erasing them. There's another quick double. Jump shot to a triple. And the hazmat guy has now pitched a tent that must be the hazard area. Okay, don't execute my friends, especially the lady in a cocktail dress. There, another jump shot. As always, like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Helps me, helps the family. The channel's growing quickly because there's a lot of nice people that show up on the streams on Thursday night, on Sunday nights, and also on Wednesday for the new weekly challenges. Always looking for comments. Please comment below. What do you think about the TAC-M, the OG? Do you think it's a reasonable marksman rifle? Give it a try and let us all know here. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Please show up at the streams. Absolutely awesome time. Cheers and peace to you.